everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I am here today to help show you how I'm making just a whole bunch of different pieces of ephemera um, with a new digital kit from Sylvia at Las Mimes Amores. Um, I'm on her design team and this is gonna be part of my uh, September design team project. And sometimes when I get a new paper kit, one of the things I like to do is just start making little bits and pieces out of it. So I kind of get a feel and enjoy the images. And that's exactly what I've done here. And this kit, I'm not going to embarrass myself trying to pronounce it in French. Um, Sorry, Sylvia, but in English, it translates to family book. So it's a bunch of images, you know, of, of a family and um, designed really beautifully. And there's four pages. And what I'm going to, what I did was I cut a bunch of it up. And these are actually large hidden paper clips. So let me show you real quick. I did a whole pile of those. And I know there's lots of videos out there on how to make paper clips, but these are, um, I think embellished really fun and can be used um, on the top of a page. And you just have to make sure you get the layers <laughs> in between, but there'll be a nice page topper like that. Um, and then you can also tuck something, I'm trying to find something, tuck something up under there and you know, and the clip will hold it you know, on your page. Now you can definitely decorate both sides if you want to. Um, I haven't yet, but I probably will. Okay, so that's one thing. The other way they can be mounted, which um, I'm trying to be gentle with them, make sure my glue's dry. <laughs> um, they can go on the side of the pages, right? And then I also have in some of my journals um, some different shorter pages. And I think this would be really cute to slide on one of those kind of pages like that. So that would be cute too. So lots of different things you can do and I'm gonna show you how to make those. And they're a little bit larger size. A lot of the altar paper clips I make are, are tiny. All right, and then I've also made um, just some journaling cards uh, that I think are really pretty with different embellishments. Um, and all of these, I put what I think are cute little words. So I'll keep your secret. So I'm imagining this is um, siblings um, back in the day. Um, just good days. What did I do? Cuties. Be fearless. And she's holding her doll. Exist loudly. This lovely little girl. Her hair is braided. She has on a fur coat. Love it. Um, wild things, you know, the whole thing. Best friends, better together, all of those kind of cute little things. And I've used um, some fluffy ribbon and things. And then I also made this, um, it's a, kind of a journaling card, but also a pocket and it could be mounted, you know, in a journal um, in different ways. But the pieces, of course, come out because it's got these two little tuck, corner tuck spots. And um, I think it looks great. So anyway, and the images are fun, um, vintage, and right up my alley. So there you go. So I am having fun playing with this kit. She's got some other new papers out this month that I'll be using as well. But today I'm just playing with these and getting familiar with them. So let me show you real quick a couple of ideas and how I made these. And for this kit to only have four pages, there are so many fun images. Um, there's one page that is, well, here it is cut up. I've printed it twice because I wanna use this flower for my pocket. We might use those cutie pies um, when we go to stuff it, we'll see. All right, um, but it was just a page that had um, some of this writing in French and some of these different images on it. So I just cut the piece that had this pretty rose into, and I believe this is like three by three or a little more than three inches. Yeah, like three and a seven eighths um, square. And we're just gonna then cut it corner to corner. And I did it differently before 
so that I didn't cut the bloom. But this time I decided I wanted to do it that way. We'll have a little bit of bloom here and here. Okay, and as usual, I like to get out my Distress ink. So this is just a really simple way, I think, to make a pocket that you can then have ready to go in a themed journal or any journal. Um, but also give you a cute tuck spot and it can also be used, you could write on the back like another journaling card itself even, and it could tuck in somewhere. I am most likely going to be making um, a journal um, with some of the papers and things um, from Sylvia, some of her kits, to then use all of this ephemera in, so I'm kind of excited about that. So just like any corner pockets, oh goodness, I'm gonna use some wet white glue and just add it to the two edges so that we get a nice little corner pocket. And then the one up top will be our tuck spot. Um, I am using my PVA Line Co. brand glue. If you wanna see any of the supplies I use in my videos, um, you can visit my Amazon storefront. It's linked in the description um, in case you're interested and need some supplies. So then, again, what I was thinking might be fun is to, I think I'm gonna tear this so that we get a little bit of a raw edge that'll hold some ink. Um, we'll put these cutie pies in here. And it's just that easy. And it holds a lot. The other one, I think I have a couple of pieces in there. Um, and of course we can decorate the pockets as well. Um, I did a little flower and a, a word on this one and then decorated one of the cards inside the original. Um, I have written a few words. Let's see. All right, we're going to pretend these two are cousins. Cousins and best friends. <laughs> or I could put it even on their card. Why don't I put it on their card and we can do something different on the pockets. Um, and these can get as embellished and as foo-foo-y as you want. Um, let's, let's find some lace. Let's find a way to put a piece of lace on here. Um, oh, this is a new one. Look at me with my new, my new lace ribbon. I thought I had used this one before. And these are actually sewing scissors. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I remember when I first discovered that these will like pick up pins or metal things. And that paper clip was obviously not plastic. And my scissors picked it up for me. All right. I do love these scissors. These are my favorites. I wonder if we can tie a bow. This is pretty thin. Put a cute bow on the pocket and make it nice and frilly. All right, I love, um, I think you guys know, I love making all kinds of handmade ephemera and things for my journals. And you'll get to see these again, like I said. Um, when I, when I make a journal, hopefully later in September. So, all right, I'm gonna leave that for now. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to say, but my son's name is Daniel and it could maybe be Danny. So I think that's kind of cute. That's why I didn't wanna cover it up with the ribbon. All right, so that's one idea to use up some of these little pieces. Let's make some of these larger um, paper clips here. So you can see how I did that. Again, there's lots of different ways to go about making hidden paper clips. But what I did is we're gonna make two out of one piece of book page. And you do need some kind of what I consider a liner paper to go inside. So I'm just using, this is just regular old printer paper. And um, I have lots of scraps of this from when I print things and um, I just save it so that I can use it. And it could even have something printed on there. You're not gonna see this at all. So we're just gonna fold over our book page. Use whatever size book page you have. If you don't have book page, you can use paper. And this inside piece is gonna go inside like that. This is gonna be enough to make two that are about this size. Um, so I go ahead and put a couple of paper clips on here 
because I want each one to have one clip. Now, um, I like to tape these down so they don't wiggle at all. So I just put a piece of scotch tape. You could use masking tape. I guess you could use washi tape, um, whatever you want, to just kind of hold these nice and steady. Again, you're not gonna see these. And then we're gonna sandwich this piece in here like this. Now, I have done videos where I've shown you how to mass make hidden paper clips, and I'll do a strip and have a paper clip, you know, like I said, when I make little ones, every inch or two, every couple of inches, and then you tape them down and you, you are gonna eventually cut the strips into little tiny ones, but today we're making bigger ones. All right, so I'm just going to add glue to the paper. Just gonna hold it to our book page and just bring it right up to where you folded it. Not over, but just right up to that fold line. And then add glue to this side. And again, you don't have to be super neat with your glue. No one's gonna see it. You just don't want it to use and accidentally close up your sandwich here. So see now you've got the sandwich. And that's what I'm saying is when you're also putting it on the book page, it's not that it's super fragile, but you do just wanna make sure you're getting whatever you're sliding your paper clip over in between each of the layers of paper. Now I can feel where my paper clips are and I'm just gonna randomly cut this. It won't be exactly in half, but so that I have two. And then we're gonna decorate. Now I layered, I have some of this vintage um, dictionary page, which I love working with, but it's quite fragile. So it is nice to layer on other pieces and you can hand tear like I am, or of course use your ruler if you want a more careful straight edge. So I'm gonna get some of the border off. And one of these is, see how fragile it is? It, one page really is big enough for two of these. Now, depending on what images and what other decorations I put on, on these, some of these I trimmed off even on the width. So again, you can make these any size you want. But I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, I like having the different colors of the book page and the vintage dictionary page because I think it's really pretty. Another thing that Sylvia did, um, again, with Las Mimas Amores, um, she's got a freebie that's gonna that's out in September. I'm actually filming this right at the end of August, but um, that she did for the design team members, but she said she's gonna have it as a freebie, so I hope it's available for you guys, where she asked us little things about ourselves, and um, none, none of the pages have our names on them or anything like that, but just little things that we shared with her that were important or special to us, or things that we like to do with our time. And she made um, just different pages with images that reflect that. And she sent them to us and said, see if you can find yourself. I hope you can, and I hope you like these. It was just a little gift. And, oh, my gosh, they are so fun. I was able to pick out some of the other ladies as well just because of their styles or things that they've shared um, and have enjoyed. But I found myself almost immediately. Um, she captured my little dogs and my children and... Um, who are now adults, but as if they were when they were younger, of course. And then um, an image of me, you know, and of course all of these are just, they're not really images of my family or my dogs or of me, but things that represent me and us. It's so sweet. So I'm going to make something super cute with my sheet. Definitely I may use some pieces from some of the others as well, but hopefully that is available and um, you'll be able to go find it. I'm not quite sure how she distributes her freebies, but I'll find out and let you guys know. Or by the time I put a video up about that, I'll make sure I know how to do that. But that's so exciting. Super fun. And it's so fun to make friends in this community um, on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all that. Um, women and men all around the world that I've gotten to interact with 
at least virtually, right? But then start to get to know, and it's fun. Have share similar interests, right, and passions, a paper crafting and vintage, and all all of the things that that I like. It's fun. Okay, so then it's time to just find an image that we want to work with. I did. Um, some of these are ones that I've already used because I did print the pages twice. Um, or not all of them. I think two of them I printed twice. I haven't used one of these. We'll use that for something here in a minute. Um, I like those little pink flowers. Let's see. You know, she, she needs to be featured. She's a little large for what I'm doing, and I guess I could make her just into a, a journaling card because that was one of the other ideas I had. We could also make some fun clusters. I was thinking about calling this one Clips Cards and Clusters or something like that. I get three C's in there. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. We're going to put her on this one. I'm trying to use some of the different images that I haven't used yet. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Um, we're going to put this one here. I'm going to just tear this. Some of the pages are printed almost like it's been collaged, which is kind of fun because you can cut them out just as photos or you can leave um, some of the paper behind and it gives you some different options. And I think on... I don't know where I put it, but oh, on this card, some of the background on one of the pages has this pretty um, floral background to you, which is fun. All right, so let's use some of my fluffy ribbon. Again, this is this is now vintage. I'm really old stamping up a uh, trim from years from years ago. Um, I don't know if I want to go across the top like I did with those others or if I want to go down the side. We'll just go across the top. Now, on the ones that I made off camera, and I told you I was a little worried, is the glue dry yet? Um, I used my Fabri-Tac glue. Um, so it's good for fabric to fabric, paper to fabric. You can use it paper to paper. It's nice and sticky and tacky, and I've used it in videos. I've just put it in this bottle. Um... But because we're on camera and I want things to go smoothly and not my ribbons not fly around on me, I am just going to use some score pal tape, two-sided tape, um, to hold this ribbon down. Okay? So you can use, again, some kind of glue that is good for fabric and paper. You can use two-sided tape. You could stitch your ribbon on. You know, you could sew it on. But for purposes of the video, we're going to use that because it's not going to go anywhere and I can keep crafting. All right. I kind of want to keep this. Um, it's an open seed pod. I don't even know how you say that word. Um, I kind of wanted to see that little bit of an image, but it's not really looking right. We might have to pick something different to put on here because that's just not coming together for me. How about this one? I think I'll tear it to. This looks like a dad with his three children is what it looks like to me. Um, and I kind of like sometimes having the torn edge to make it look even older, perhaps. We'll add some ink. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys like working with like old family photos. Um, or if that's not your thing. Um, what colors you like when you're working with vintage photos. These are This one is a little more pure black and white. And some of these are a little more sepia toned. But they're all pretty and definitely different and fun to work with. All right. I am going to also add... A little layer of this lace because I can. <laughs> All right. And this one is so fine. I'm just going to put a little strip of glue and I think it'll be okay. I just used my regular old glue too. I didn't worry about using the, the wet white glue. Now, or the Fabri-Tac glue. I am going to 
glue this down so it's also going to get sandwiched at least at that section right there so it won't go anywhere and it'll have time to dry and let's see how about family memories on this one okay and again if you don't want to use these like on an actual journal journal page they can also be nice decorations on a folio on a larger journaling card something like that to really get lots of layers happening like we could clip this one on here um, you know so many different ways to use them so that was the hidden paper clip one um we'll real quick glue her together we're going to make her look a little different i'm going to use some different um, embellishments for her. What I will also say is make sure you don't accidentally glue your um, flap together because that would be disappointing to say the least. I'm just going to make her look a little different. I feel like she's a different, a um, little bit different kind of image. So I'm going to take this really thin twine. I'm going to double it up, tie a cute bow for us. Little tiny bow but by doubling it up it has a little more let's see it a little bit more let's see yeah I'm just gonna make her really simple and this twine will grab in that glue and hold just fine all right on her I'm gonna say keep going I don't know why I wrote keep going on a little piece of paper, but it's been laying here on my desk for a while, so we're gonna use it. All right, so that one's a little more plain, but I like it. Okay, now, and then the only other thing I did was I made some journaling cards. So this one, I took a piece of just some ivory card stock, and because the, um, Oh, look, there's a cuckoo. Because the dictionary page is quite fragile, I'm going to mount this on here like so. And then I'm just going to cut it out really quick. So if you have vintage paper, book page, things like that that you like working with, but it's fragile, it does help, you know, if you'll glue multiple layers together, go ahead and just use some card stock to mount it on. And then you don't have to worry quite so much that it's gonna tear in your project or not stand up um, to being handled and, and loved, right? <laughs> you want everything to be able to be loved. Now I like her, I don't wanna cover up Cuckoo though. So let's find a different image that we want to put on here. How about, I've got several wedding couples. I love these um, children. They're holding puppies and I used that on one of my paper clips already. It's one of my favorite ones. All right, I don't know why I find that funny, but we're gonna do this wedding party with the word cuckoo highlighted underneath with the picture of a cuckoo bird. All right, so we're gonna put that there. And again, I could layer some of my ribbons or lace under it, but I think I have an idea, <clears throat> excuse me, of what I wanna do here on this one. I'm going to grab these flowers that I said I wanted to use. So I liked those. We're gonna make a makeshift little tab out of this. Not quite sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but we're gonna make it work. Maybe right up here. It's a little bit big, but I don't wanna lose the flowers. Yeah, so we'll live with it. All right, and I didn't wanna cut his, or cover his face up. All right, so again, I love finding different ways to use all of the elements to have some really unique embellishments. 
All right, let's add, let's add some kind of ribbon or lace right here. I used my little slot punch, but my glue wasn't dry, so it kind of gummed up, but it's okay. The ribbon will now cover up the little bit of raggedy hole that I just punched. Wait for your glue to dry. That is the moral to this story. Wait for the glue to dry. All right, and I think this is going to be skinny enough to fit in here and let us tie a little, a little embellishment. Yeah, I like that a lot. I cut it way too long. That's okay. Trim it off just a little bit more. All right, look, we've got a journaling card and we can add a word to this one if we want to. Um, well, the two that I already have pre-written says friends forever, brother and sister. Why don't we pick something that I think maybe goes with the picture a little more? Um, how about always and forever? That sounds like something we would say with a wedding photo. <clears throat> Not always true, right? But we hope it is. <laughs> when we head into it, we think it's going to be. Uh, I won't even start talking about that. Some of us, I, I am on my second marriage. And my second marriage is lovely and delightful. And I am very, very happy. And I feel like it is always and forever. And I'll just leave it at that. So sometimes you just don't get it right the first time. But we're going to hope that this lovely couple are together forever. Oh, isn't that cute? I think it turned out well. All right, what else? Okay, and this was just a larger one that I did and I backed it on book page, so I'm not gonna make one of those right now. Oh, and I have these fun flowers and I didn't use one. But anyway, these are just an old kit of flowers that I've been tearing apart and sticking on. Now they're gonna be chunky wherever I put them, but I don't mind when my journals get a little fluffy. So, all right, I hope you guys had fun making some ephemera with me. Use whatever paper you have. If you're interested in these papers, like I said, I'll link it in the description. Thank you so much, Sylvia. I'm having a great time on your design team making fun, pretty projects. All right, everybody, have a great day until next time. Thanks for watching.